Many businesses have had to change and adapt after COVID. Chef Curtis Hem, who owns the Carriage House Cooking School in Peru, New York, was having a great year early on last year. His in-person cooking classes were very popular and selling out. Then COVID hit and everything all but stopped for several months. And while in-person classes have started up again, Chef Hem has discovered Facebook and online classes as a safe way to reconnect. We sat down with him in the kitchen of his cooking school to talk about life after COVID. We've been open for a while now and waiting for uh, New York to fully you know, open up. And uh, we've been at a reduced capacity for, well, almost a July, I think it was, when we opened back up. So I'm waiting to be fully, fully enrolled again. So that's, that's the goal. It's different now. It's, it's, a different, it's a different landscape now. I think there's more, there's pent up desire to go out, but there's more fear than there was last year. Last year was a short term thing in people's minds. And this year it's here to stay. And people are super cautious. And you know, they, they really look at where they're gonna go, how often they wanna go. And, um, and so I think everybody in, and in small business and large business alike has to figure out how to navigate that. So is that changing things for you? Do you have people maybe reluctant now to come here to the cooking school for lessons? Yeah, and so we, yes, you know, uh, it's been a year long conversation now. And uh, so we've done a lot of things to mitigate that. You know, we have a medical grade HEPA filter in here that runs all the time. Um, we have face shields, we have face masks, we have gloves. Um, we have much smaller class sizes. Um, we've always been small by design um, from an instructional standpoint, but our chef's table dinners are half the capacity of what they used to be. So we used to be able to get 12 in here. We're now at six, sometimes eight if it's a private group. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a challenge for sure. And the goal was how do we stay relevant? How do we stay in contact with our community? Um, the customers that supported us and then how do we best serve? You know, that was also at the top of, of my mindset is how do I best use what I have and then share it. And there was an epiphany one day, I was in the grocery store and everybody was kind of panicking. So I went back the next day and I said, there's gonna be stuff in the ethnic food aisles. There's gonna be meats that people don't know how to cook. So either large format meats, so like large muscle meats. Um, and there's gonna be stuff in the frozen food sections that people don't know what to do with. Um, also mostly ethnic cuisines. So I picked up some stuff, I came back here, I fired up uh, my cell phone, I got on our Facebook page, and I just did a Q&A, you know, here's what I'm cooking from the pantry, and it was incredibly well received. And so after I got off that, I think I called Charlie either that night from Grow Trends, either that night or the next day, and was like, we gotta do something. You know, I wanna do a cooking segment. Um, figure out what that looks like and that just became wildly popular and it literally saved my business here um, because when we reopened in July it was gangbusters. I would look at the food that I have um, and then I would make a recipe and I would publish the recipe um, on our website and then people would go to the website download the recipe. We try to use as much local stuff um, I really tried to connect the dots between businesses that were staying open, um, who had what food. So Asgard Farm had, um, as a prime example, Asgard Farm had um, chuck tender steaks. So that's a really great piece of meat, but a lot of people don't know how to cook that. So I did a video, we posted a video, I gave it to um, Asgard Farm, they shared it, they started selling out of chuck eye tender steaks. Um, we did the same thing with a lot of other stuff. My neighbor Jordan at uh, FarmNet LLC, we supported her along the way, gave her a lot of attention. Whoever had something to share with the community, we asked them to be a part of it, and we just tried to connect the dots. And I still do that to this day. And Facebook, you found a new way to reach your customers. Absolutely, yep. And, and, and it's free. Uh, there's no monetization of the Facebook platform right now. You know, it was just completely, I'm bored. I miss cooking, um, I want to do this, and it was more of a community service. And then when people started sharing pictures of them with their laptops open at their dinner table, eating the foods that they just cooked with us, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty flattering. Um, and it just, it certainly, it, it gave me the energy to keep doing it. So it was, it was quite enjoyable. 
Are you mostly doing online now or have you returned to in-person classes as well? Uh, we're scaled back right now. Um, so we do, we do some in-house, but I would rather have fewer classes that are to capacity than lots of little ones um, that are half full. And then we really are focused on our online platform. So we now have a Zoom community going. We have a, a new product called Recipes for Success. And that's, uh, that's targeted at a very affordable cost. It's $35. Um, it's an hour and a half long. It's one or two, sometimes three recipes, but it's designed for quick access. And every one of those classes is about techniques. And that's how I learned how to cook. Um, I have a bookcase full of Jacques Le Pen books over there. That's always been my idol um, and one of my first mentors. And, you know, he, he always taught technique. It's the French way to teach cooking is through technique. Once you master a technique, you can cook basically anything. It's every second or third Wednesday, I forget right now. Every second or third Wednesday of the month. And if you go to our website, you can watch more of our interview with Chef Curtis, where we talk about a special event coming up in a couple of weeks on Sunday, May 23rd. We here at Mountain Lake PBS are hosting a live cook-in, a virtual cooking lesson with Chef Curtis, and we're inviting you to join us. It begins with a cocktail followed by a step-by-step -step live online cooking lesson to create a delicious three-course gourmet meal. You can watch that part of our interview, find out what's on the menu, and sign up for the special evening, all from the comfort and safety of your home. You can learn more by visiting our website at mountainlake.org.